For the last 100 years, if a thief wanted to break into a car, all he had to do was pick the lock or put a crowbar through the window. Not anymore, because a 14-year-old hacker found a way to get into the car without using anything else but a handheld device. I'm Christian Nilsson, you're watching HuffPost Live. According to Autoblog, a small group of high school and college students took part in a five-day camp back in July to address car hacking threats. The students were told it would take the nation's top security experts months to hack into the system, but one 14-year-old went to Radio Shack, bought $15 worth of parts, built a circuit board, and the next morning hacked into the vehicle. The teen shocked security engineers when he took control of a car using a homemade device by turning the windshield wipers on and off, unlocking the doors, remotely starting the engine, flashing the headlights. He even added insult to injury by playing a song from his iPhone over the car's stereo system while the headlights flashed to the beat. The vice president and chief technologist at Delphi Automotive said, this kid was 14 and he looked like he was 10. It was mind blowing. Though the student's name and the vehicle he hacked hasn't been released, Delphi Automotive and automotive cybersecurity company Batille and the sponsor of the five-day camp have all confirmed the incident happened. With the advancement of driverless cars, security analysts have been increasingly concerned about cyber attacks. So much so, 60 Minutes recently did an investigation detailing how a hacker can actually take control of a vehicle. So just try, uh, stop at the cones here. She thinks she's going to be able to stop right at those cones. Let's make sure that she can't and she's going to drive right through them. All we'll right. have complete control of that brake. All right, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Brakes I cannot, work, right? oh my God, I can't operate the brakes at all. Oh my word, that is frightening. Suddenly there's an upside to driving that 20 year old piece of junk.